Hi everybody doing welcome back to the channel so today i am going to be doing um you could say my workflow i want to kind of show y'all uh, basically I, I am going to say from start to finish but um it's going to be some things that we can go into a little bit more detail probably later on or separate videos but what i'm looking at is is this is going to be like portions i'm going to do like a part one part two part three so this is going to be the first part what i want to do is i want to show y'all how i basically get those animations that I create, how I bring them into whatever programs I'm using, take them in Unreal and output a final product. So y'all can see each step, just so y'all can get a kind of glimpse behind the curtains. Some of these things, like I said, they're gonna be kind of um, more depth and detail for later videos, but uh, for the most part, we're gonna do this. So here, um, I don't know which one of the things that I've done, if I actually did the mocap right now to show you, um, or if I didn't so what I'm gonna do is I got that animation now we created it right we went through um, the XN's mocap a window starter we had our finger animations we got our our body animation and now we need to take that stuff in there we need to figure out the character that we're gonna put it on um, um, like y'all probably saw me putting on these different characters but here I'm gonna show how I get that stuff together so right now as you can see I am in character creator 4 and um, if we're looking at character creator four, I bought some packs in here. You can see a little bit of the things that I bought, things that I paid for. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to click into some of these things and um, we're going to take a look, see what they got in here. Right. So we see some of these packs, some of the things that I bought. You can buy these on some of their marketplaces or their, their uh, stores or whatnot. So let's say, for instance, we're going to go through here. This is the kids and teen on campus. Basically, what I'm going to do is I want to try to create something and then send it. So, as you can see, we can kind of dial things in. I'm going to use this character right here. and I'm going to put him in one of the worlds in Unreal Engine. And I'm going to add animations to him. I'm going to do a little bit of talking. I'm going to show you my whole steps, everything that I do when it comes to these. So, we got the character here. Now, there's a few things that you can do. When it comes to um, the characters, they have clothes and different things that you can start adding on and changing. Most of that stuff is, is like if you just drop, drop it over and you just basically click on it and basically change. So if I'm like looking at his shoes, I can basically we have his shoes right now. I'm going to go in here. We can go to edit. We're going to delete those. So now we ain't got no shoes. Right. So then I can go in there and I want to put Simon's shoes on them. So I'm just going to go in there and press that. Now we got Simon's shoes on him. You can pretty much do a lot of this for multiple things. I could change his face and stuff. And he'll still have that kind of a cartoonish look. You know what I mean? That's still, that's what we got here. But let's say if we wanted to dive a little deeper, right? You know, in Unreal Engine, they're using metahumans and things like that. Um, I'm not using those for these, but you want to be able to go in and have some real looking skin. Right? So realistic human skin. So I'm going to go through here. Now, these things, when you go through and bake them in, it's almost like you're going to have to take your character. Um, these characters is like a, um, a CC three, but they got to be like a CC three plus character. I'm not going to detail what that is, but let's say, for instance, if I wanted to add on some of this skin to him, what it'll say is it says CC three plus textures are not compatible with CC three characters. To, but basically, you got to go through and convert the character to your character to a CC3 plus format character first. And that's if you do that, then you'll be able to grab on and drag this stuff over. So I'm going to cancel this right now where you would find that at is. All right. So here we want to be able to go through and if we wanted to convert, if we look here in, uh, we're in character creator, like I mentioned, convert to CC3 plus character, we can be able to click on that. It's going to go through load and texture and bake everything in. Good thing is I already did that for us here. So if I go up to my characters, characters, and this is a little Jimmy, right? You see some of the characters that I got, but let's get up on Jimmy, Jimmy base and see, yeah, we're uh, current, blah, blah, blah. No, we don't need to save. We just going to replace. This is basically the same character. This is me after I did to convert the CC3 plus. You would only while you would only want to do this is if um, 
you knew that you were going to be changing the skin, eyes, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change a little bit of a Jimmy right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my templates. We can go to my packs. Let's say I want to put this male skin on him. So we do this. Um, let's just go through. You can look through those things. I'm just going to apply it. And then as we do this, we're going to see it's going to take a little bit of time. Things is converting things over. But now we have him here. Look how that looks. Look kind of scary. A little spooky. We can zoom in on them hands. Look how them hands look. Looking a little bit more real though, right? You know what I mean? See if we got that. So now doing things like this, we probably want to start changing the eyeballs because we don't want these crazy looking eyes. Um, usually I'm just going to go through here and then we're going to modify those eyes. Let's get uh, for this stuff. Human anatomy. We're going to start going through here and here we can start finding things. Let's give um, mm, some male athletic eyes. Let's put those on there. We're going to replace those. Now the eyes are still big. We can go through and start to do adjustments in here. And those things are into the modifying the meshes and stuff. But that looks a little spooky. We got a little creepy eyes and stuff. Let's see if we just get rid of them eyeballs, right? So we're going to go to edit. Um, we're going to delete that. Now we don't got no eyes. That's the thing that you can do right there if you wanted to make a little short, right? You can just have this thing with no eyes. You know what? We're going to roll with that. I'm just like... But just understand, through this, you can go through and start to modify and convert and do all of these different things you can edit facials you can go through and really like get in here look at the eye scaling see all of that stuff so you can really just go and dive in but for this i'm just trying to show y'all something quick i'm trying to basically show y'all what i would do is and come in and create a character i mean i'm gonna probably take his hair we're gonna get that and get rid of that hair all right so now we got his hair right here um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete that hair so now we got bald and what i can do is i can kind of go back and i can just add hair on him if i wanted to right so i got all of these packs like i said these are packs and things that you can buy um all right so now we got some hair on him we got him looking a little bit more real i don't got no eyeballs in there i didn't want any all right, and so then from there, we can do our little adjustments if we wanted to. And now that we have this character here, I'm going to go to my custom, my actors, characters, and then I want to save him. All right, so I'm just showing you all the workflow. So we in here, we're going to click save. Right now, it's, we're going to cancel this because I got the asset type. We got hair, hair element. We want it to be the full thing. So what we do is we're going to get this whole thing. Now we got here, we look here, we getting the whole Jimmy base. Now we go to save. We got actor character. So I'm going to save him as, um, you don't call him Jimmy. You know what I mean? You don't call him, um, he like a little monster. Let's just say monster. You know what I mean? So Jimmy monster, right? No, oh, we hit okay. Now we have him in here as a C3 plus character. Um, the only thing is I don't got no eyes. So what that'll do is um, for me showing you a little bit further steps of um, making him talk and everything, which I'm going to be doing later when we get into eye clone in a second, it's definitely going to stop a couple of things because we got no eyeballs to work with, right? So we have that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up character. Um, this is all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up eye clone. I clone, if I go to my custom characters, see how we got successfully imported two items. We go to our character and we know here we got Jimmy, right? Let's look for Jimmy. Let's drag Jimmy in there. All right, so we're back in here with Jimmy. Give me a second, let me load this up. All right, y'all. So now when it comes to animations, let's see, what are we going to use, right? So what I'm going to do is, is a test animation. This is animations from um, that I've created for my short uh, Gods Among Who. Um, it's up on there right now on my channel. So check that out if you haven't seen it, right? So um, basically how easy it is to just get animations in here. So let's say if I go to Dragon Ball Z um, 1, I just drag and drop close this thing down so we're gonna get this that's gonna come up the motion import settings that's the animation FBX file that I dragged and dropped then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to XNs because that's the uh, mocap suit that I'm using let's say for instance if you have Mixamo animations you can go through it and be able to identify that or you go through those things and all you do is you hit 
convert. Now this is animations that clearly don't go to this uh, character and was not meant for it. But what we can do is we can be able to see those animations and stuff. So yeah, all we're gonna do is hit the space bar and we can play through our animation. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, when it comes to our timeline, sometimes this is over in another window, I'm kind of having it all here so y'all can see it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Alt key and scroll down so we can make this animation get a little bit, we can get it to our length. Now when it comes to um, here, if we go to our project, you can see how it's like the animation stop at 1799 frames. I normally just ramp that thing up. I'll be like 50,000, right? Because that just opens it. You know what I mean? And now if we finish scrolling, we can see this is our endpoint. You can just drag that to wherever you want it to be because your animation will stop. Or if you didn't want to just drag it, you can be able to get to where you want to and then you can be able to click like this, right? Then that sets your end frame. But let's say we in here, you know, we can see this is him walking. All right, so this is, oh, Thanos getting ready to do the snap. So we're gonna use this one right here. All right, so we start here. If I like that spot, I can hit right click. We can hit break. It'll break that off. I don't know, I'm not using that, so I'm gonna hit delete. Right, so now we know we have this there. We can scroll this thing back. Now we're gonna go through, he's gonna walk, he'll do a little snap, he's gonna look back and turn and look back up, right? But we don't need all of that, we just wanna get up to, let's just say if we want it here, and turn around and stop. That's good, because this is just a test animation anyway. So what we do is we click on here, we go there, right click, remember that break. So we got our break thing, so we can delete that. Now, when it comes to cleanup, and what I mean by cleanup is, let's get a little closer on um, little good old Jimmy here with the, you know what I mean, the monster face and stuff like that. So, you got cleanup. When you want to do some cleanup in here, first of all, we go to modify, and then um, we can click it over here, and we got our edit motion layer. Now, what I mean by that is this. So, we know that I got my hands closed. Look at my thumbs right there, right? So, the thumbs look a little crazy. They not closed. I want them hands closed. See how them thumbs look? Y'all can see them thumbs. All right, so what we'll do is, if I go to edit motion layer, we're gonna bring up the edit motion layer window right here. Here is where you can actually do some cleanup. So let's see if I wanna start back here and then you can look, you'll have all of these little, um, you can see these things right here. Um, if I un, this is like a viewpoint controller, you can take that off. This is like the bones, so the bone display. So let me take that off. All right, and so I can see this character right there. What you can do is kind of cool is, um, you can hit set keys if you don't want things to, like you want all animation a certain way at a certain point, like where it start. Cause you like the animation. Let's say I wanted it to start here. And this is not starting meaning animation where I didn't want to do any changing and clean up. So I'm gonna hit set key cause I want it to stay like that. And then if you look by doing that, what you do is you get a little key point for the motion there, right? So I just set the key. And then if I move a little bit of a frame, Let's say I want to clean up the thumbs now. So here, if I click on it, I can actually drag down. Let's see, I think we're messing with the other hand. So let me look at our right and left hands. We can go through this one right there. I can actually just, bam, get the fist, kind of move it around. That's where I want it to be. See that? Looking good. I like how that look. And then I have that frame. That's a keyframe that'd be in there. And I can do the same thing with this hand over here. So we grab this one and bam. Now you can go through and as it goes, it's going to look good like that. And if it starts to come back, cause remember, it's gonna look at all of your frames. So if all my frames, if I have those thumbs a little different, like you can see now that I did that, I actually messed up some. So could have cut a, get a frame up right here. But as his hand opens, now what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start getting down to that. Let me try to see where I want the hands to be eventually. So if I want it there, you can be able to dial these things in. Now I'm gonna tell you again, I ain't no expert on this. This is just me messing around with it, right? So I'm trying to make things happen. Hold up, probably see me messing around with my face a little bit. I wanna make sure I'm focused for y'all. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of focus in there. But you can do all of these things as far as moving like see how I got the hands they open up too far right there 
So then you can bring, you can dial that back in a little bit just right there. You can actually go individual fingers and start to rotate and do things. And ultimately you don't have to do this much cleanup. I'm just showing y'all this for the, um, for this moment, but maybe you want the hands to look crazy, right? He does that. And then they just go completely back like bam. Right? So we got this and then we just start messing with the fingers. Like they just, boom, like you grab from that point and then it just bend, right? So you can do a lot of stuff and now it'll be like that. But here, I'm not trying to do all of that. I'm just trying to get y'all into this section. So you would go through all of your animation. If you see like, let's say for instance, like your shoulders, you want to be able to move his shoulders a little bit. Cause remember, I got these right here, so you can see that from that point too, or you can just be able to click them like this. If you on your keyboard, you can hit E, that opens up. See how you can start to adjust. You can just be able to do what you want. It ain't really anything that I'm trying to change, but let's say for instance, if his head, you know what I mean? You got his head and it's not, it's looking too far down. You don't want it that far. So you click on that, you can press E, you can be able to rotate that thing up. So then when you're going through, he's going to move and he's still going to do your initial animation, but you can start adjusting that animation to other things if you want to. So that's a little bit on there.